What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Emmanuel. This is Abalang Outdoors. Got my cousin with me today. We're heading offshore. We're gonna do some fishing. Do not go anywhere. This is gonna be a fun one. <laughs> Fish on guys, fish on. Stay tight, stay tight, stay tight. He came off. Yeah. Drop it back, drop it back. All right guys, we just had a bite on the top water bait. Hook pulled unfortunately. Gotta keep trolling, see what happens. Just a waiting game. It is beautiful out here though. If trolling doesn't work out, we'll go deep dropping. All right, guys, we're in about 800 feet of water right now, getting ready to get down on a drop. Got a seven pound lead, four hooks. Police back there getting the squid ready. We're gonna drop them. We're trying to catch some rosies. Just to get the day started, then we're gonna go out a little deeper and see if we can find something else. Sending her down guys, sending her down. All right guys, so we're deep dropping and we didn't think there's anything on there. I'm still not sure. This is coming up from a thousand feet of water, but the bite was really weird, but we think we might have something on there. I saw it just shake a little bit. We'll see. I think there's a fish on there. <laughs> it might, it's, if it's a fish, if it's a fish, it's a rosy, no doubt about it. Not one doubt, <laughs> not even one doubt. I think there's a fish on there, guys. Look at that thing, ooh. If there's not a fish, I don't know what's going on. That's crazy if there's not a fish. Rosie, Ro three, <laughs> three. <laughs> oh my gosh, triple up! I knew it. Oh my gosh! Oh well. Grab the lead. Grab the lead. Grab the lead. <laughs> Guys, look at that Rosie right there. Absolute monster. This is my personal best. We're gonna see how big he is. Sixteen inch. Black belly rose fish, absolute beast. Look at him. Look at the mouth on him, guys. Insane fish. You can see the black inside of their belly there. Everything, man. <laughs> Khalif and his That's first rosy. Fish right there, boys. Yep. If you know much about rosies, you know they are very, very, very spiny fish. There's places everywhere to poke you. We got him on, guys. We didn't even know we had him on. Boom, boom. We had no idea, guys. Look at that whopper, Rosie. Look at that. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are very, very deep right now. <laughs> we are in... Well, now we're in 900 feet of water. Our drift started in 1,100 feet of water. So we're just going to keep dropping. Hope for the best. And if nothing goes well, we got meat in the box. Yee! Guys, look at that. It's literally a deep water parasite that just came up on the rosy. Look at that thing. Guys, if you have ever seen this before, leave a comment down below and let me know what exactly it is. We know it's some type of parasite, but look at it, it's moving. Wow. <laughs> A thousand feet of water, nice little drop off there. Yeah, I'm 
think we're gonna get bit. Guys, once I lock this bill, we got the. Oh yeah, we got him on. We got him on. We got him on. <laughs> guys, I get a little excited because fishing is exciting. We got him on again, guys. Right here, a thousand thirty-eight feet of water. Guys, while that is reeling up, if you are ever out here and you're unsure about the rules and regulations for any fish, make sure you guys get the, the app, Fish Rules. This app allows you to search up species in freshwater and saltwater, lets you know whether they're in season, out of season, lets you know their minimum size, their max size, their slot size. And the, the thing I like best about this app is wherever I go in Florida, the app works with GPS to update the regulations. So wherever you go, you're not breaking the law and you're just having a great time catching fish. So make sure you guys go to the app store, whether you're Android or Apple, get Fish Rules app, check it out. It is always a great tool to have when you're out here. What just happened? Dude, did my, did my net break? Guys, uh, something really weird just happened. We had a nice dump and then just a, a big release of pressure. I don't know what happened. There's a fish on there. Crank, 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 crank. There's nothing on there, bro. There's nothing on there at all. There's Rosie on there, but I lost my lead. Look at that. Sometimes it's fish in rocky bottom. That's what happens. I just lost my whole lead right under the surface. Beautiful, Rosie. Another one for the box. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful fish. Open them up. All right, guys. On that last drop, I lost a lot of braid. Broke off two leads in the last two drops, so we're gonna call it right there. We're gonna go head home, gonna cook something up, and we'll see you guys in the kitchen. We got a 17 mile run home. <laughs> Woo! All right guys, we made it back home. Look at that Rosie. Come in here real quick. This thing, is 16 inches on the dot and if you've caught rosies before you know this is a big big rosie so we're gonna quickly clean them up you want to be careful with rosies when you're cleaning them you do not want to get poked they are sharp everywhere run your knife up into their head then you're gonna use your knife and you're gonna outline your fish just take that knife run it all the way down the dorsal fin. And look how their skin stretches. All the way down. Then you want to stick your knife through. Push that through. And take your knife, run it right back up. Whew. A little slippery. Just keep working your way down the fish. What a fillet. Get in here, cut that off. And guys, this area right here, as you can see, is why they're called black belly rosefish. Super, super dark color. So when they eat other small animals, other small fish, it doesn't glow in their stomach and predator fish can't find them. So look at that. Nice, beautiful piece of rosefish. Let's take our knife, hold the skin and just push forward. And this is what we're left with. Beautiful piece of rosy right there. And they taste great. We'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right guys, we're in the kitchen and we have our rosy here. As you guys can see, this is the big one. And, and these are the other two about average size. And we're gonna make one of my favorite dishes, very simple, some fish wraps. We'll come in here with that egg, right there. Then we're just gonna come in here and break up this egg. Come in here, grab your filet, drop it right in that egg. And you're gonna flip it around. And make sure every piece of your 
of your fish is saturated in the egg. And we have some breadcrumbs right here, some panko breadcrumbs. And then add some cayenne pepper, some paprika, and a little bit of garlic powder. I'm just gonna use a spoon and mix this all together. All right guys, now we're gonna take out our fish for there. Drop it right in the breadcrumbs. And we're gonna flip it around. Make sure you got breadcrumbs all over your filet. And then put it in a clean plate. And we're gonna restart the process and then we're gonna get these in some oil. All right guys, so we have some olive oil right here. Just gonna drop our filets right in there. Alright guys, just move around your fillets once you're in the oil. Make sure they don't stick. And then wait till they're about halfway done and flip them. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Alright guys, so now we are about halfway done on our fillets. And look at that nice golden brown color. Exactly what we're looking for. Perfect. All right guys, so first in our wrap, we have some honey mustard there. This is actually a salad dressing, but I don't care. Ooh, that's a lot. And we're just gonna rub that in. Get it all over our wrap. Then we're gonna come in here. A little bit of arugula. I've actually never eaten this. Arugula and spinach. Arugula and spinach. There you go. Looking pretty so far. So we're gonna add a little bit of tomato in each. And last but not least guys, we have our rosy right there. Just gonna add that right in there. Take some cheese, doesn't matter what type of cheese, whatever you like, and just top that off. Guys, our next step, we're gonna wrap our wrap. Ugh, look at that. <laughs> it's a tight little wrap, guys, small wraps. Why don't you eat the spinach? <laughs> it fell out of my mouth. <laughs> mm. Delicious, guys. Look at that. And there you guys have it, guys. I showed you guys. I was catching rosies. I was cooking rosies. Now I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this meal with the rest of my family. I thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time